Good evening. Are we on? We're on. Hey. Sorry we're a bit late. One or two uh, minor technical issues. Nothing for you to worry about. We are here. We're live. We're live on Mixer. We're live on Zwift Runs Facebook page. Welcome along to my uh, Friday workout session. Um, let me just change screens here because I am going to log on to my workout. So you can see the main screen here. That's me there with the white cap. And if we press E on the keyboard, we get the workout menu up. And tonight, well, the last one I did, I think, was this up and down three hard. But I think that Zwift crashed just before I finished it, which is why the date there is the 11th of the 11th, 2017, which seems like I haven't done it for a while. So we're going to do that one again tonight. 44 minutes or so. 44 minutes or so worth of running 8.8 .8 kilometers. So we'll press workout and then I'll get rid, get rid of all this stuff, all these gubbins here. And uh, we'll get going in a minute. Okay, so the idea is that you can see there we, uh, we go for a 1600 meter warm up followed by 1,600 metres at 12.8k, 800 metres at 11.4, 1,600 metres at 13.5 kilometres per hour, 800 metres at 12.1 and 1,600 metres at 14.2 and then we have a little cool down. So why don't we get going, shall we? So these are, the, these are some of the workouts that are built into Zwift. So if you join Zwift Running, if you start with Zwift Running, which is free at the moment, it is still free there is no charge for Zwift running right now okay so please bear that in mind you're not paying for Zwift running if you were already a member of Zwift and you're paying for cycling you're paying for cycling but there is no charge for Zwift running and if you join Zwift running without cycling you won't have to pay a penny for the time being there will be a charge at some point but we're in beta still so um there's no charge at the moment right I am watching Facebook chat, guys, and I'm watching Mixer chat on and off. And so uh, we'll keep an eye out for, for any messages. If you want to say hi, please do. And of course, now I'm not going, am I? Why am I not going? Bear with me. Bound to be something to do with the stride foot pod. Stride foot pod needs a bit of time to wake up sometimes. Oh, look, and he, he did wake up. He just woke up there. <laughs> okay, we're all right. We're okay. Right, let's get going again. This time we're going to get going. 1,600 meter warm up at 11.3 kilometers an hour now. And I promise you, he will start moving. There we go. Start running, buddy. Come on, let's get going. There we are. We're running through the centre of the volcano at the moment. Many of you know I was running through a real volcano the other day, albeit an extinct one. I was out in the Canary Islands, in La Palma, running 75 kilometres right up to the top of a volcano, round the rim of the volcano and back down the other side. That was one heck of a day, let me tell you. So I'm going to try and flick between Facebook chat and Mixer chat, see if there's anybody out there today. So Tutored Page says hi. Hello there. So I'm using my Stride foot pod today. Quite often these days I am connecting directly with my Techno Gym My Run Treadmill, but at the moment I have a little bit of a, a computer problem which is preventing me from doing that, so I'm using the Stride Foot Pod, which is the most accurate foot pod around. Just cost a little bit of money if you want to get the full one. The stride full is about 200 US dollars, but you can get a pared down version 
just as good for running on Zwift. And that's only a hundred dollars. And Fiber says hello on Mixer. Hello, Fiber. Okay, up to 11.8. You can see the bar going across the top there. It's a gray bar and it says 1.15 kilometers left in this section of the workout. The idea is just to show you what a workout looks like. Um, when you load up Zwift, you have a choice of a number of different workouts you can do. It's not just running in a group and it's not just running on your own. You can do structured training workouts with Zwift. It will really enhance your treadmill training and make it a whole lot more interesting as well. And it won't be long before we have group workouts on Zwift as well. Tim's asking if I'm using the stride for pace in case of treadmill crashes. Um, I hadn't really thought about that, to be honest, Tim. All I'm doing, I, I'm using the stride because I can't get the, the uh, my run to connect, primarily because my Zwift companion app and Wi-Fi. Um, I think I've got there's some kind of Wi-Fi problem in the shed. So um, my the my the uh, companion app won't load. Not companion app's fault. It's my Wi-Fi's fault. So seventy. Um, 700 meters left of this warm-up and you actually find this warm-up goes to a faster pace than the first interval so the first interval is 12.8 kilometers an hour but I actually go faster than that in this warm-up it builds up and then it drops down again Malcolm Oak says, welcome back. Thanks, Malcolm. Yeah, I've been away for a week. Managed to get back in time for workout Wednesday. So I did that on Wednesday. That hurt the legs a bit, I'll tell you. And then uh, we're back on it now. Today, then back on Monday Run Club. 7.30 on Monday. Live on Zwift Run. If you're looking at um, doing a workout on Zwift, don't worry about the pace. If this pace seems a little fast or a little slow for you, that's because this pace is modified to my ability. So Zwift calculates what it thinks I should be doing based on its interpretation of my previous runs. So it will set pace values. Now I can alter them and manually change them in settings, but I've, I've tended to leave them where they are. They're not too bad, they're not too far off. My legs are fairly well recovered now. I've had almost a week since the race. 
and uh, I took a couple of days off and then I gently got back into running. It was an awfully long way, 75 kilometers, but I do those kind of distances on a relatively regular basis. So recovery time for me, I would say is not too bad. I certainly couldn't go and do a race again now. So you can now see we are at 13.2 kilometers an hour. And um, we will drop down again in 100 meters and do 1600 meters at 12.8. So that blue arch there signifies the end of this section. And then we're into the second section. Any questions you've got guys, do throw them out there. Fiber asks, did you hear there's a cheaper version of the foot pod? Yes. Um, the Stride Live is exactly the same as the Stride Full, but you don't get the power metrics. But you don't actually need the power metrics to run on Zwift. The Stride Foot Pod was originally invented as a power meter for running. Now, actually Zwift itself doesn't measure power in running. What it does want to find is a speed source and a cadence source. And the Stride Foot Pod will give you that. So what the guys at Stride did was they just took out the, the power metrics and gave you a cheaper foot pod, half the price, which will do exactly the job you need on Zwift. So that's $100. So if you're looking for the best foot pod around, you won't do better than the Stride Live for $100. Thanks for the ride on Litchfield. So we're happily ticking over now. Three kilometers done. And uh, Actually, that three kilometers might include one kilometer I did as a warm up earlier on. So, two kilometers run in this workout. And we're climbing up the side of the volcano, which is good. Currently, Zwift is not measuring incline. So Zwift does not control my treadmill at the moment and it's not automatically increasing the incline of the treadmill when I go up a hill. That's not to say it won't in the future. In fact, it most probably will in the future. As yet, if I want to simulate the hills within the game, I need to manually do that on the treadmill. And right now, I've no interest in trying that. <laughs> you know, running past all these vents is making me feel quite at home. In the run I did on Saturday, you basically run along the ridge line of an old vol volcano and there are vents everywhere from where the old volcano was. Thanks Ruins, good luck with your 100 mile run. Starting soon. Tell me guys if there are any problems with the, the stream. I have had a couple of Wi-Fi problems in the shed tonight, so I'm not sure whether the stream is fluid or not, whether it's smooth. So just let me know. Okay. 
See the, the green TV screen in front of me there? That is uh, just a, a, an indication to everyone else and a reminder to me that I am in a workout. So just under 700 meters to go in this section. And then we've got an 800 meter rest or slower paced run at 11.4 kilometers an hour. Right through the center of the volcano, up high though, you can see the road down below for the lower section of the volcano. Five hundred meters to go now. We've been running for twenty minutes. Nice and warm here in the uh, south of England. Certainly for running, anyway. In the shed here, can be a bit of a sauna at times. So. I try to open as many doors and windows as possible. What I don't have, and I should really, is a fan. Three hundred and fifty meters left, and then we slow down for a bit of a rest for eight hundred meters, and then it's back up to thirteen and a half kilometers an hour. Heart rate is doing okay, one fifty-four beats per minute bound to go up towards the end of the run but we're trying to keep the form good so head up get oxygen into the lungs a forward moving body posture I know we're not actually moving forward because we're just standing still on a treadmill but you've just got to make your posture go in the forward direction so your your body is as efficient as possible in moving forward and there's the grit the uh, white arch and that signifies the end of this section so section three coming up which is a, a rest section although we're not really going that much slower Okay, so down to 11.4. It's a nice shot with the mountains behind. This is the great thing about Zwift. Psychologically, if you've, especially if you've got a nice big screen that you can view Zwift on, it can become really immersive. And you really kind of get your head into it problem with that of course is when you're going uphill in the game you actually feel like you're going uphill <laughs> so just 800 meters of this slower pace and then it's faster again this is a time just to check your form again to let the heart rate just come down so you're ready Essentially, you're regrouping yourself mentally, physically, getting yourself back in shape for the next bit of hard work. Ingrid says it looks hotter in the shed now. Yes, even though I've got the doors wide open, it's certainly warm in here. If I'd had a bit of forethought, I would have opened this back window as well.
important just to stay relaxed in these early parts of the session. But I suppose you could say we're almost halfway through really. 24 minutes gone. In terms of time, we are halfway through. If you've got any questions, guys, do ask. I mean, it is fairly self-explanatory, even if you've never seen Zwift before. It's a virtual game. I am doing a workout session. All the instructions for the workout are on the left-hand side of the screen. Lots of other people using Zwift at the moment, listed on the right-hand side of the screen. The grey shaded area at the bottom is my pace and the red line is my heart rate. Just another kind of graphic indication of your workout really. But all that information as well is just above, above me there. 250 meters and then we're going to up it again. Okay, so on the mixer, everyone's saying the stream is quite glitchy. Apologies for that, guys. It seems to be all right on Facebook, so I'm not sure why it's so glitchy on... It is, I can see that it is glitchy on mixer. And I'm sorry about that, guys. Okay. There's the archway. Thanks for the ride on John Hancock. It's coming up to five kilometers run. Stocky Voice asks, how money is this? Do you mean how much is this? Zwift running is currently free. You do not pay anything for Zwift running at the moment. That's because it's a beta program. It's not it's not fully realized yet. We're working on it, we're making it better all the time. Okay, here we go. Up to 13 and a half kilometers an hour now for another mile, 1600 meters. Essentially a mile, a mile at this pace. So keep an eye on my heart rate, watch that gradually rise. See my steps per minute as well, that might gradually rise. As I get more tired, the distance between my steps will decrease, meaning I'll have to take more steps per minute to cover the distance. This stream is also available on YouTube. So I don't know if it's any faster on YouTube, any better on YouTube, but the stream seems to be working okay on Facebook. If you're interested, go to the Zwift Run page on Facebook, Zwift Run on Facebook, and you can log on there and watch the stream there. Hopefully that'll be a bit smoother. So trying to stay as relaxed as possible during this interval. Head up, shoulders down, breathe, give, you, give your lungs as much room as possible to expand. Thanks for the host. Go back to Facebook chat for a second. Ooh. Alexander says, congratulations on my Transvolcania run. And he hopes to do it one day.
Alex's first ultra will be the Burning Man in the desert. Sounds good. So yeah, I've just come back from the Canary Islands where I ran last weekend the uh, Transvolcania Ultra, which is a 75 kilometer traverse of a volcano on the island of La Palma. It's part of the Sky Running World Series. Thanks for the ride on Krista. I was trying to do it in 12 hours, but my legs just couldn't handle the downhill at the end. It's the third time I've done this race. Um, and I managed 13 hours in the end. It's not my slowest time, but it's not my fastest time on that course. But I enjoyed it nonetheless. It's an amazing run. If you ever get the chance to go to La Palma and run the Transvolcania Ultra, you've got to do it. Especially if you love the mountains, if you love getting up high, if you love climbing. Tom says, is there any way to import previous workouts from elsewhere? Well, yes and no. Um, if you are, if you're a cyclist, you can do that. If you're a runner, not yet. You can write your own. Um, it depends where, where they're coming from. Um, I've modified a few and imported them, but they would only be available for you on your computer. But this is a beta program, so given time, you will have the ability to import from programs like Trainer Road or whatever, and uh, from other software programs into Zwift. But as yet, that facility is not available unless you write your own. Okay. So you can see my steps per minute has gone up quite a lot. What was it, 71, 74? So I'm just trying to slow it down again. Stretch out my stride pattern. Heart rate's not too bad actually. Hasn't gone up too much. So this is the importance of concentrating. So look, if I'm concentrating, I can bring my steps per minute and my heart rate down. Okay, 250 meters and then we're down for a rest period of 800 meters at 12.1 kilometers an hour. It will happen, Tom. Just, you know, we're in the early stages of, of Zwift running at the moment. Okay, there's the blue arch. That means the end of this section. See if I get another star. See on the left there, if you carry out all the sections correctly, you get a little star. Okay, there we are, down to 12.1. There's my star, 800 meters at this pace. Again, time to relax, time to just bring the heart rate down. Take control of yourself, think about what you're doing, 
Think about your form, think about your breathing. Do you need a drink? <laughs> Alexander says double the effort, double the fun. Thanks for following, guys. Fiber says Wi Fi drops from the shed. Yeah, sorry about that. Five hundred meters left at this pace. Approaching seven kilometers run. See guys the level there. See uh, where it says 12 kilometers an hour, top left of that middle box. Just below that is the number 19. That is my level in the game. The more you run, the more points you get. And the more points you get, the closer you get to leveling up. There are 21 levels in Zwift running at the moment. 25 in cycling. Obviously that's bound to increase. But at the moment I'm on level 19, about halfway through level 19. So there's still a little way to go to get to level 20. Three hundred meters left of this section and then we've got the final high speed interval. Sixteen hundred meters or a mile at 14.2 kilometers an hour. Terra Legend says hi on Mixer. Sorry the stream's not so good on Mixer guys. It's a little better over at the Zwift Run page on Facebook. But thanks for tuning in. Good to see you all. Okay, so now's the time to just take stock again. Make sure you're ready for this final interval. Get your breathing right. Get your head in the right place. No bailing. Do the job. Get it done. The pace should be within your capabilities, unless you're tired or under-trained. So here we go, 14.2 kilometers an hour for one mile. And then it's cool down time. Here we go. Just relax, head up, shoulders down, breathe in easily. Get yourself pointy forward. Maximize the efficiency of your body. Get your breathing in a pattern. Stop chatting to people and just run. <laughs> Get that stride length nice and solid. Efficient breathing will keep your heart rate down. Don't panic. XP points going on there. Every 250 meters we get XP points. 
Every time we burn 100 calories, we get XP points. Sometimes you know it hurts, you gotta try and enjoy it. There we go, eight kilometers run in 40 minutes. Just over a kilometer to go in this set. Straight through the center of the volcano again. It's probably about as hot in this shed as it is in that volcano. Eight hundred meters to go. That is twice around a standard size running track. Mark asks for top tips for efficient breathing. Difficult to say, Mark. You've got to fit, you've got to get something that suits you. What most people will find helpful though is breathing out relatively quickly. So getting rid of the used air, the used carbon dioxide in your lungs, so you've got more time to breathe in. So you're exhaling quicker than you're inhaling. You see my inflation and deflation. You hear the noises I exhale. You want to get as much oxygen into your lungs as possible because the oxygen is what feeds your muscles and helps to burn the glycogen. And the glycogen is the energy for your muscles. Less than 400 meters now. Keep your form good, no slouching. Head up. If you slouch, you're crushing your lungs. Treadmill running is great for teaching you good form. Because you haven't got to think about anything. You haven't got to think about traffic. You haven't got to think about the road, whether there's anything in the way, stones or curbs or whatever. No grass verges, no cows in the field, no gates to open. You just run and you run at the same pace. So it's great for teaching you pace as well. This is what it feels like to run at 14 kilometers an hour. There's the finishing line. Cool down after that. 
Enjoy it, guys. Running is fantastic. It might hurt, but it's awesome. There we go. Let's see what it tells us to do now. 14, down to 14. So not much of a drop really. <laughs> but it's a slow cool down so it will gradually wind down over the next 600 meters. There we go, right down to 10 now. I said gradually, didn't I? I meant just in one massive swoop down to 10. That's what I said. Okay. So chill out time. We're gonna run another 700 meters to get the XP points at 10 kilometers. So I've run 9.3 kilometers. So we'll, we'll make it to 10, even, there's only, even though there's only about 500 meters left on the uh, workout itself. Thanks for the ride on Miguel. Let the heart rate come down, nice and easy. And down to 9.5. You only get the uh, little star on the right hand, on the left hand side there, if you follow the instructions given to you by the game. So if you go way too fast, and if you go way too slow, you won't get the little star. And I assume, although I don't know for sure, but that might affect how many XP points you get at the end of the workout as well. If you don't get all your stars, you might not get as many XP points. Let's have a look at the end of the workout here, how far I jump up. You see, I'm just in the middle there of the uh, level 19. See if I jump up much, if it's noticeable. Sometimes it's not even noticeable. Thanks for watching, guys. Good to have you on board. I'll just go and have a look at Mixer again quickly. Thanks Casey for the host. JK says, uh, keep up the good progress. Thank you, Casey. Uh, thank you, JK rather. Still looks a bit laggy on the uh, on the mixer stream. Two hundred meters left now to the end of the session, and then I'll just run another few hundred meters, couple hundred meters to the end of ten kilometers. I don't know whether the music's gone funny for you, but the music's gone funny in my ears. down to 7.9 kilometers an hour. Maybe the music's got tired of playing. It's trying to come back. <laughs> okay, 90 meters left. And then there should be a finishing banner, finishing arch, and you will see how many XP points I get for the, for the workout. Fingers crossed to get a nice few points for it. I don't know about you, but the music is doing all sorts of things in my ears.
let's hope I get my star. Right. So I got seven out of seven stars. You can see on the run report there, right at the top, seven out of seven stars. So that's good. We'll just click OK. No discernible difference in the number of XP points, though. Still kind of pretty much in the middle there, aren't I? Let's get up to um, let's get up to 10 kilometers just to get the extra points. And then we'll call it a day. Thanks very much for joining me. Do remember on Monday, we've got Monday Run Club, 7.30 UK time. Tomorrow morning, Run in the Park with John Hancock, 9 o'clock UK time on Zwift. And next Wednesday, Wednesday workout. It's a group workout on Wednesday, 7.30 UK time. If those times don't suit you, if you're in the US or Asia or Australia, there will be a time to suit you. So go onto the Zwift companion app, have a look at the runs that are available in your time zone and choose the run that suits you. I just mentioned the UK ones because I'm in the UK and I stream at those times. So I'll be streaming Monday Run Club at 7.30 UK time and Wednesday workout at 7.30 UK time. I'm back next Friday for another Friday workout, 7.30 UK time approximately. I know we were a bit late tonight, I'm sorry. And um, yeah, so if you're interested in joining Zwift, do go to the Zwift page, which is uh, zwift.com forward slash run. And you can have a look at the Zwift Runners Facebook page as well. Um, so go to Facebook. You can have a look at the Zwift Run page, which is the official page. And you can also have a look at the Zwift Runners page, which is the uh, users uh, Facebook forum. 